Hello everybody, the Rhyme in here, coming to you with The Long Dark. Now this game I am pretty stoked about because I'm a big fan of survival, as you guys know, and this game is the epitome of that, and not only the epitome, but also taking it in a different direction. We don't have many uh, survival sort of games that take place in like this frigid ice world sort of thing. I mean, it's not an ice world, but obviously enough, the whole world's, like, coated in, like, these frigid conditions, tons of snow, a global disaster of the post-apocalyptic scale, and I love it. And also, The Long Dark was basically worked on by some of the most awesome people in game design ever. We have the people who did the technical directing for Saints Row and Red Faction. We have the producer of Company of Heroes, nar the narrative director of Far Cry 3, the director of Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. We got the art director for League of Legends, which was a surprising thing for me to hear. The writer of the God of War series, the audio producer for the Mass Effect and Baldur's Gate series, and the voice actors. If you guys didn't know this, the, vo the, the voice cast... For the main male protagonist, it's Mark Mir, and for the female protagonist, it's Jennifer Hale. So, they got the two Commander Shepherds to play the main character. We got an all-star lineup right here. So, enough fangasming for me. Let's jump right in here. We're going to play uh, some Sandbox. Ooh. They updated everything. <laughs> Let's see, so this is more about survival, exploration and survival. Okay, so this is easy, normal, and hard. Well, we're playing normal because I'm still not used to the controls. And we're going to play as a female because I just love listening to Jennifer Hale's voice. Uh, let's play Coastal Highway. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing it down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Now I'm playing this game full screen. Which is amazing to me. I'm, I'm not used to recording full screen and my microphone kind of obstructs a part of the, part of the map. But, you know, it'd be what it'd do with a side of fish cakes. Alright, so... Okay, too windy to light match. Let's look at the controls here really quickly. Key bindings. Okay, I want to go to tab. As you can see, cold and fatigue. Our condition is basically going down, so we're going to want to move right away here. The whole thing is that this game is a balancing act of making sure you go into areas that um, have warmth that have protection that will let you keep your temperature, your core temperature down or up. But also being sure to go out enough to forage for like wood or <laughs> to, to forage for food. All these basic things that you need to survive, you need to go out and find. And you're not going to find it by just sitting on your ass. Ugh, unfortunately, my cold is going up significantly, so... I do know this game has a really high scale of difficulty. Wow, wouldn't it suck if I'm already screwed? <laughs> that would be great. That would be a great way to start this Let's Play. But yeah, I played about half an hour of this, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I played it on the other map, though, so... Obviously enough, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Which, in retrospect, is not the smartest thing. Yes, I know, I am freezing. I am freezing my patuki off. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm freezing to death. We need to find a place to stay in ASAP. I've never died in this game either. This is going to be embarrassing. Next thing you know, I'm gonna die. 
Oh, Mystery Lake. Oh, this is the same... Th you can go to the other part of the map anyway. Huh. Well, the more you know, because knowledge is power. Oh, thank God. This looks like a, a, a lifesaver. The Carter Hydro Dam. I think I ran into this before in my test run of this game. Ooh. Now, the atmosphere in this game is nothing short of terrifying. I'm pretty sure there's no other survivors in this game, so it's not like I'm going to get, like, a severe jump scare. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just love listening to Jennifer Hale's voice. I'll admit, I'm probably not the first one to admit this, but I do have a little bit of a thing for Jennifer Hale, voice-wise. She's just music to my ears. <laughs> All right, I can't feel my feet. <laughs> oh my god, you're so smarmy, even in this. Oh shit! What am I doing? Oh, condition two. Losing blood? Oh shit. Uh, bandage. Use. Use. Antibiotics. Antiseptic. Wow. Okay, so I'm about to die. <laughs> this is about the greatest start to any sort of game ever. Ooh, first aid kit. Candy bar. Painkillers. Oh, God, please give me those painkillers. I need them. I need them so bad. Uh, oh, there they are. Alright, how am I looking in terms of hunger and first? Hunger is getting up there, so let's eat that candy bar. Yeah, and there's a calorie system in this game too, so you have to keep in mind not to overeat, but you also have to make sure you maintain your f hunger and thirst bars effectively. The game is very, very detail-oriented. really makes you think about what you're putting in your stomach, what you can... Uh, do or not do? Are you wearing enough warm clothes to get through the through the outside temperature? I did not even hear that. <laughs> I survived for one hour and fourteen minutes. That's that's pretty sad. So we've returned to the wilderness um, after that disaster of a first run. Please note, I am not perfect at this game, clearly. Ooh, there's a, oh, there's a house out there. Let's go to that. Yeah, the last time I played this game, I did last for about two or three days, and I didn't die yet. But, you know, that typical rule when you're recording, you suck ten times more. That's, that's my excuse. I'm, I'm going to stick by it. Yeah, but look at this game. Look at the graphics, the, the skies, the mountain ranges. This game is absolutely gorgeous. This is like scenery porn at its finest right here. I mean, you can't... You can't fake your way through graphics like this. This is very well done. And this is still... This is still not a full release game. It's still in like the alpha... Alpha stages. So just imagine once they get the story mode in, I'm actually really excited for that because there's going to be a level of choice and consequence, and I'm a sucker for games like that. 
as you guys know. Alright, my cold is doing a lot better this time. I actually have shelter to get to. Considering it's not overrun with wolves, I should be good. It's going to be overrun with wolves. Misanthropes Homestead. Somebody's going to be here. See, I just don't like going indoors because the atmosphere is almost too well done. I'm just going to investigate around first before I take anything from drawers. Because I want to make sure I am the only person in here. Oh god, I, I thought I heard a clicker. <laughs> I thought I was playing The Last of Us again. Alright, we are the only person in this house. I think. Dude, this... The atmosphere does something to you. It's so unsettling. You know, that's what a post-apocalyptic world is supposed to do. It's supposed to really put... Supposed to really put you on end, and I just paused there because I thought I heard something. I think I can use this. All right, we have some jeans. Let's look for the other drawers. See if there's anything else in here. Because you can take clothes like this and tear them down, so you have uh, kind of like bandages, makeshift bandages. I actually want to take a look at, uh, potential clothing. Alright, so I'm wearing regular jeans, but their condition is not that good. Cargo pants would be much better right now. Alright, let's take these jeans. Um, oh wait, how do I do that? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Item to harvest. My 34% jeans. I can create one bit of cloth. Alright. I'll keep the other pair of jeans just in case I need, you know, another pair. Probably useful. Let's see, got a torque. Which is funny to say. Shoes. I think we already have shoes, don't we? Yeah, we have basic boots. Those are way better. Um, and I have a better torque right now, so I can actually... Let's just harvest these shoes, because these shoes are shit anyway. So, yeah, this game has a pretty notable difficulty curve, but... I don't know. Could end up being useful. As you play this more, you start to get more and more used to it. Mostly it's about maintaining your condition and... Basically the cold meter, being able to maintain yourself outdoors, that's the hardest for people. Toilet. Oh god, I can drink toilet water. That's sanitary. Best be prepared for anything. Just keep talking, Jennifer Hale. I can listen to it all day. <laughs> I, uh, If you didn't know any better, if I didn't know any better, I have some sort of massive, creepy crush on her. Oh, shit, my calories. All right. Well, let's drink down this. I need to find some food around here. Let's see if there's anything in the kitchen, actually. Yeah, my calories are steadily going down. Off! Yes! This stuff will come in handy. Smash the can. Hopefully we don't ruin what's inside. 
Alright, we only lost a little bit of it, and we managed to get our hunger down, which is good. See, so that's this is the eternal struggle with this game. You have to constantly maintain your I'll body. Which makes this all the more in intense in a way. This is a survival game at its core. Newspaper roll. Family picture. They're probably dead.